All right, this is our fifth and final video on constructing congruent triangles. We've uh, talked about side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and even we've talked about why side, side, angle does not work. Um, but in this video, we're gonna focus on hypotenuse leg. Okay, so to um, even be talking about hypotenuse leg, of course, um, this must be a 90 degree angle that we're talking about. Um, so let's duplicate this and copying the hypotenuse and the leg. All right, and of course this angle, knowing that it's a 90 degree angle. So let's start by copying angle A. And uh, of course the way you copy an angle is start by drawing a segment that's longer than what you need. All right, I will call this spot right here A prime. To copy the angle, use your compass and uh, draw yourself an arc that's going to intersect both sides of the angle. So I'm going to put my point right here and I'm just going to go ahead and draw myself an arc that's going to intersect both sides. Okay that's going to intersect both sides of the angle, like here and here. Now I'm going to duplicate that arc on my new picture, like this. Okay, I know I'm blocking the camera for a second here, but bear with me until I get this drawn. I'm slipping. Okay, hold on. I lost my, lost my way. Okay, so I've drawn the same arc on my new picture. So I can tell that this is going to be one of these uh, intersection points. There'll be another one over here someplace. Um, to know exactly where it's going to be, I need to use my compass again to measure this distance. Okay, this distance goes from here to here. So now I'm going to duplicate that distance like so. And all I need is the smallest of marks to show where the other intersection spot is going to be. Okay, these two intersection points correspond to these two and they show me the width of angle A. So I can go ahead and draw a new segment through that intersection point. Now I don't know exactly how high it goes, so I'm just gonna stretch it on out there. All right, um, in that way we have duplicated this angle A, um, which uh, it looked like a 90 degree angle, it must be if we're doing hypotenuse leg, and uh, in fact our copy looks like a 90 degree angle as well. So, so far so good. So we've copied angle A. Now let's copy segment AB. So to copy a segment, you use your compass to measure. Okay, so there's from A to B. Make it a little bit smaller. So there's my distance from A to B. So I'm just gonna pick this up and copy that distance by putting a small mark right there. Okay, so that intersection shows me where my new point B is gonna be. And of course, we'll call it B prime. Now that shows us um, one of the sides of this triangle. So I can go ahead and darken that in right now. Okay, we're doing hypotenuse leg. And um, this is going to be a leg. So we've just duplicated um, side AB. So I'm gonna put a little mark to show that AB is congruent to A prime, B prime. So all that's left um, is the hypotenuse. We've done a leg, now how about the hypotenuse, which is BC. So we're duplicating this guy right there. And uh, the way you duplicate a segment is um, 
you measure the length of that guy. Okay, so um, using my compass, I'm going to capture the length of that hypotenuse. Okay, so there's the length right there. So I'm just going to pick that up and copy it. Okay, the hardest part is not letting my compass slip around. It's wanting to slip a lot today. So um, I can tell it's going to land right here. Now, no matter if I tried to move my compass all the way around, it's never going to intersect this side anywhere else. It's only going to hit one place. So I can be very confident that this is, in fact, point C. It has the right length because I measured it out. But there's no ambiguity. Like when we did side side angle it could either hit here or here but now that we're doing hypotenuse leg it's only going to hit one place I could keep going all I want but it's never going to reach again so it's definitely this is going to be my point C and I can go ahead and draw this triangle solidly Okay, call it C prime 